Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist will never forget you. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. For one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can book on my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will never forget you. Unless you were just a one night stand or someone they hooked up with for a few days. The narcissist will never forget you. They will not forget anyone they had a relationship with that lasted a significant amount of time. If it only lasted for a short amount of time, they will forget about you very quickly. Unless they meet you again and then they may remember you. But they will never forget their first boyfriend or girlfriend, or the mother or father of their children. They will only forget people who they were with for a short amount of time. Unless there was a memorable sexual experience. A narcissist may have a primary source of supply, but they will seek out a secondary source of supply for sexual purposes. And if the sex is good, and they feel like they have control over that person, in some situations they may advance the secondary source of supply to the primary position. So what started out as a one night stand for a narcissist could potentially turn into a long term relationship, depending on how good the sex was, and if they feel like they have control over them. It typically doesn't happen because narcissists have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. But in some situations, it does, because narcissists get attached very quickly. They're focused on the moment, rather than the bigger picture, which is how the love bombing happens very quickly. They idealize you, and in that moment, they think they found the one. The problem is that by viewing you as this ideal love, it puts a lot of pressure on you to perform, to maintain this ideal image that they have of you in their minds. And narcissists have a black and white mentality, so in their minds you're either perfect or flawed, which means that once you make one wrong move, you're no longer perfect, you're no longer their ideal love. And they have such unrealistic expectations that are impossible for anyone to fulfill. So it's really only a matter of time until they turn against you and view you as their enemy. It's inevitable. Because when something goes wrong, or if they're not happy, it's either you or it's them, and it can't be them. So that means you changed, or you lied or you tricked them. They will play the victim and then you become their enemy. And that then becomes the reason why they will never forget you because they're holding a grudge. So the person they don't forget and may continue to idealize and view in a positive light is typically the secondary source who satisfied them for a short period of time, but didn't become a primary source of supply. The mistress or the bit on the side, that tends to be the one who got away, the one who they loved and was close to but left them, or they broke up for whatever reason, but that's the person they don't forget. They may not forget you, but that's not because they don't want to. It's just that they need you, and they hate that they need you. They resent you, because they feel like you're keeping them trapped in a situation that is unfair, in a situation where they're not getting their needs met, so they end up despising you, they treat the person closest to them the worst, but then they also can't find someone good enough to replace you. They can't find someone who is always going to be there for them. So in that sense, they need you and they don't want to let you go. Even while they're viewing you as their enemy and they're punishing you because they're attached to you. You are their source of comfort, safety, security and stability. They know they have a place of refuge to come home to where they can feel safe and sheltered from danger or trouble. 
but at the same time it's boring for them. They want concert excitement. They're adrenaline junkies. And they can't get that from Gyu once they've been accustomed to Gyu. So they seek that from other sources. People who don't know them yet. People who validate them and make them feel alive. Because that's what they really want. And that's what you were to them when they first met you. Until your supply got stale. It lost its potency. Because every supply has expiry dates. But just because they're no longer getting that rush of excitement and adrenaline in like they used to. When your supply was fresh and new. That doesn't mean that they will forget you. They will never forget you. Because the relationship lasted a significant amount of time. And they stayed with you until the supply ran dry. Until something went wrong in the relationship and they turned against you. Which is a huge blow for a narcissist's false image. So they will never forget that. Especially after they love bombed you in an attempt to keep you around. And then if you rejected them, they will obsess over you. Narcissists do not forget people who they were with for months or even years. They may be thinking about you now, but they're not thinking about you in a positive way. They're not thinking about how attractive you were. Once you've caused a narcissistic injury, that gets suppressed. Now they're only thinking about how much they want to destroy you, so they're never going to forget you. Which is why it's not good to remain in a relationship with a narcissist to the point where you cause a narcissistic injury because then they will obsess over you, they will stalk you, and they won't ever leave you alone. If they think you're still susceptible, they may disguise it as though they want to prove their love to you, but otherwise they will just harass you and cause problems for you. And even if they are the ones to discard you, they will still obsess over you, even if they've moved on to someone else. They will still want to isolate you, because you were their greedy source of supply. You had a lot of money, power or influence. You rescued them. You made their life easier than it was before. Because you're empathic, compassionate and understanding, you gave them more and more. And the more they took, the more you gave. They are emotionally dead and you made them feel alive. So they will never forget you because they never found someone like you before and they're searching for that level of connection but they can't find anyone else to replace you in that trauma bond in the way in which they idealized you and devalued you and made you fall for their lies again and again which created an addiction for them so they cannot let you go because every time they think about you it reminds them of the rush of emotion they used to feel in your presence even if they found a new supply. They are constantly comparing them to you. You are their reference point. And no matter what they have, they're always trying to find something better. No matter what they find, it's never as good as what they had with you. So they're always dissatisfied. They're constantly making comparisons and they're never happy with what they have. They humiliate whoever they're with. They're always disrespecting people and putting them down just as they did with you. And if you confronted them on it or you threatened to expose them, that may be another reason why they won't forget you because that will have caused a huge narcissistic injury. Narcissists do not want anyone to see through their facade. They want you to keep feeding into it to maintain their image that you may have chosen to tell the truth. You may have exposed them which means that you have threatened their power and control. So now people do not believe them as easily as they did before. Their false image has been destroyed. And yet they need people to validate the false self so that it can exist. They need other people. They need supply, which may make it difficult for things to continue as it did before. And it will affect them because they're very sensitive to rejection. So every time they can't find someone to exploit, they get very angry. They wish they could take it out on you, but they can't. And it just reminds them they're not as powerful as they think they are. Because it tells them they have no control over you. 
when before they did control your life. But now they lack influence and power, which really shocks them. It angers and disgusts them and it causes them to rebel. But if you go to contact and they can no longer get to you, that is your greatest revenge. Because then they are left with their own anger, which eats away at them. And that is why they keep thinking about you. It's why they can't forget you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.